everyone, this is Josh from before. If you watched my reviews of the Suicide Squad wave from McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, then you know that I was um, a little underwhelmed with this wave. There was, there's some cool stuff going on, um, but the fun factor really was kind of missing. That, that was the biggest thing for me. And there were several different reasons for that, chief among them being the, the no guns. I mean, the gun man, the no gun mandate from Warner Brothers, it's not the end of the world, but it is extremely annoying when the characters are supposed to come with guns. They're from an R-rated property. The figures are in the adult collector section. It just doesn't make sense. So I gave Peacemaker this uh, Red Hood gun. I've got Bloodsport here holding one of uh, Kickstarter Spawn's guns. And that helped a little bit. You know, he's got some BFG swagger here. Peacemaker feels a little bit more like the character should, but you know, it's, it's, it's a band-aid, you know, it's not, not the perfect solution. That's where MRG toys comes in. I found MRG toys with a Z on Instagram and they've been trying to fill the hole that Warner brothers left by not giving us guns. And he has created a series of weapons for Bloodsport and peacemaker that were available through his site, MRG toys with a Z dot com. He has three. He has modeled and three D printed uh, the different guns for Bloodsport and their different configurations, and belt and gun for Peacemaker uh, with some other accessories in there for him as well. So today we're gonna check these out, see if these can help uh, bring these these Suicide Squad figures a little bit closer to where they should be. So before we get started, I will let you know that MRG Toys made these available for pre order quite a while back. Uh, it. it it quickly became apparent, I think, that the demand was a lot greater than expected, and there were a lot of orders to fulfill. So when it became apparent that MRG Toys wasn't going to hit their projected ship date for these, they were extremely communicative and transparent and gave frequent updates. And, you know, this is the kind of thing where it's one guy, I, it's, it's one person, I think at one point they said they had a friend helping them meet the demands, but still, it's one person, you know, they're not, it's not their full-time job, they're, they're trying to do this, you know, they're trying to help other people out and make it worth their while, you know, so, so patience is key, you know, for stuff like this, especially when you feel like the person behind it is making a good faith effort, so, uh, much appreciation, no worries on the delays on these. And and thrilled for MRG Toys that uh, they've been able to combine their hobby and interest uh, into something that can make other people happy, and then uh, hopefully hopefully they're making enough money that it's that it's worth it for them on their end too. But speaking of money, these were a bit expensive. The nice thing is though that there are there were many different tiers available. You know, you didn't have to get the whole thing. You could have just gotten. Peacemaker's guns, or, or or you could have gotten just blood sports sidearms, and they had painted and unpainted tiers. So if you wanted to get everything and do the paint yourself, you save a few bucks. So very good options. Really nice little operation for a, for an individual person trying, trying to fulfill demand and crank out uh, a lot of these things. So let's start getting these out of here. Let's start with Peacemaker. Okay, so here for starting off here with his gun belt here so this attaches like so clips in right there you see he's got this little sleeve for his silencer that actually does attach right there he's got these little pockets that have clips for his gun and the clip you see these clips slide right out of there pretty nice touch holster here also a separate piece and can can swivel right there nice, nice touch for just a little you know nice functionality for for something like this you know you don't always expect that to happen so one nice thing that it's sized to fit over the existing peacemaker belt because he does have this same belt and buckle underneath there and that fits around so that's not like a double belt situation and you can also see that this is a a better shade of blue it's more accurate it's closer to what it what he's got in the movie i think so for this to really work now i'm gonna have to hit the blue of this peacemaker 
which is fine. I think I think it needs more paint anyway. Um, and I think I think I'm gonna hit all these guys and give them a more weathered, dusty, dirty kind of like they look like at the end of the movie after the uh, Jotunheim is demolished. Now let's look at his gun that has the Peacemaker Dove right there on the on the grip. That's really nice. There's an actual hole right there in the thing, which accepts this silencer. The silencer also has a hole in it too. Nice touch, nice little details like that. Uh, Compare this to the Red Hood gun, and it seems like maybe they did use that as kind of a jumping off point and then added their own details and made some adjustments to it. That, that's just what it looks like. I, I do not, I, I mean, I don't know how it was created. And you can see that the silencer fits down here like so into that belt, love that, and then gun fits in the holster like so. Very nice, very satisfying, very well executed. Fits perfectly in his hand. Yeah, that is so much closer to the way Peacemaker should look, I think. What about you guys, you feeling this? I think this is perfect. Man, that looked just so much better already. What do you guys think? Now let's move on to Bloodsport. Bloodsport here, I think, was was just done kind of dirty. Um, I don't think they managed to capture like his body language or or the, or the the correct paint color. And it's too bad because man, he's just got one of the coolest freaking costumes. And the way he keeps pulling different guns out of every little square inch of it is just so creative and cool and just badass like it's just a sh it's a shame what they did to this poor guy it's the figure just did not turn out right but maybe if we give him some guns we can uh we can salvage him a little bit so let's start with this small kind of shotgun thing that it comes out of his hip here he grabs onto this round sort of piece puts together this shotgun thing really really well sculpted and, and great paint on here like you know it's got a little bit of a glittery look there are a couple maybe paint misses it's not like a huge deal to me if you're if you're nitpicky about this kind of stuff it's it's worth pointing out it's not like again it's one guy trying to crank all these out you know but i think i think like that one looked turned out good and then these guys have little edges there fits in his hand really nice like that can hold it like so use that to blast king shark when he's trying to snack on rat catcher pretty cool but really the one i'm here for is this bfg and you know if you take a look you can see how he kind of creatively used this as a jumping off point and then added more details to that and then the big spinny thing at the end it does snap on right there, and it and it spins. I mean, that's that's fun, man. Like you don't always expect custom toys to have like functionality or you know this like play factor. That's that's such a great touch, man. This oh, this looks so much better, right? Does this just feel right now? What do you guys think? Obviously, now I gotta make the. I gotta, again, like Peacemaker, I gotta paint this blood sport. It's the only way. Just this orange is just wrong. It's the wrong color. And, like, man, there's so much more. There's so much detail in his helmet and his this sculpt that could just make. Oh, man. Oh, it's a huge improvement. Wow. You never really know until you get it in your hand and you look at it in three dimensions. Damn, that's tight. Again. Some little sloppy spots in the paint, not a deal breaker for me, but you know, if you're if it, if you're the type of person and you're you know, spending the money and you want it to be just so, it's it's just worth pointing out. I'm not trying to kick this guy's definitely not trying to break balls because I think these these are awesome. It's just I got to I got to point it out. And then one more thing, this pair of twin sidearms that he uses again, the the edges the ends they do spin and align like the way he uses in in the movie you know see i think this is a and i, I like that's a better application of that little paint shape right there than these and i do think in the movie these, these have the copper and the yellow 
man, badass. Again, just immediately looks so much better with with the right accessories in his hand. Man, I, I gotta say, like, I, I thought these were cool when I saw them. Obviously, I order, they looked cool enough for me to order. I had moderate expectations, and, and part of that is just the fact that I, I thought these were maybe beyond saving, and I was wrong. Man, these are just already really cool. It's the BFG for me that is gonna end up getting posed with this guy permanent, but man, these are freaking fun. Man, I can't get over how much better these guys look. I, I My expectations for these were, I would say, moderate. Like, obviously, they look cool enough for me to order them. I definitely wanted to check them out. I didn't think that they would be able to, like, single-handedly rescue these figures. And they kind of did. They just look so much better now. They look right. This is really evidence that, that the gun mandate, the no-gun mandate from Warner Brothers is really hindering uh, some of these releases and, and keeping them from feeling feeling right. These guys feel right now. This is this is awesome. So check out MRG Toys with a Z on Instagram. I think uh, their site is like not active right now because they're trying to fulfill other orders. They, they are putting out not just these, but they've also, they're doing another DC accessory pack that has like, a kryptonite spear, a sonic gun for armored Batman, uh, I think a shield and sword for Wonder Woman, some other stuff like that. So follow them on Instagram and keep an eye out for like future releases and future or pre-orders and stuff if you want to get in on, on this. All right, guys, thanks for watching and thanks MRG Toys for uh, trying to trying to fill this void. It, this was extremely successful and and very well done and much appreciated. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye.